name is Joseph Bosu. Born into family of six, four boys and two girls, and the third in the family. I attended St. Patrick Primary School, the other families. My brother mission to Akoka High School, Akoka, Barriga. And from there, I left for Ipoli College. Yeah, Fadi. Finished my secondary school in Ipoli College, my school, and I got an admission to Lasso True Scholarship from the University of Canada. And after my. That's nice. Thank nice you. to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And after my secondary school, I'm in a higher institution in Glasgow. Uh, I went to start my professional football jobs to play for Highlanders football club. Okay. A lot of people will say, I still not playing when I was in another school. Because most of the time, I would kick and I would be strong. <laughs> And then I start my football career on the street and in the academic Then after my street football, I played for Niger Lost Football Club in Kenya. And from there, I met an Ucheri. He invited me down to Julius Bender Football Club. And I did screen with Julius Bender Football Club, so I was in the feeder team that very year before I left for Islanders. I played in Islanders for just one year and I came back to Julius Bender and I played in Julius Bender for five years I went. For you? Yeah, for you. It wasn't easy as I then because there are three goalkeepers in that team. We have a uh, big Christian, Lucky Agosto Bafe, and Ben Kumbi, the Ghanaian. He kept for the Ghanaian national team. But then I'm just the youngest among all of them. I was there because of my determination and I knew from me better. And with the experience they have, I can learn, I can learn from them. But thank God I did. I want a lot, a lot from them, give me more confidence and determination to exert my profession. So I went to, I traveled out to Europe in 1995, ending 95 and 96 for my trial with AC Richard and I did And after some friendly games, I passed the trial and I was given a contract for four years. I signed the contract and I was invited to the national team under the three the three team being tagged by the press. And during the competition we really try our best to make sure we keep to that thing the dream team by winning the It was uh, after we played uh, Kenya the last qualifier for the World Cup at the National Stadium. It's been long I've seen my family so I was trying to go in and see them. And as I was driving down along um, the Ikuru Road, I lost the wheel of the car. All I knew was I was having an accident. But after the accident, it was um, Taribo's car also that was just passing by. Somebody has to sh- have to shout and say, please wait, it's go soon, go soon. So Taribo's car has to wait and they picked me from there to Eco Hospital. So when I got to Eco Hospital, I was given the Fox Ada attention before the doctor came and before I knew what happened I lost myself I was being injected through the pains and so on but then uh, I stayed in the Eco hospital for a month or so and after then I was moved to Eco hospital in Lagos in Lagos yeah. in Kedja in Kedja and after then I was being flew to Israel for the operation program so when I got to Israel six doctors attended to me in a different way. Likewise, my club in Italy sent a doctor down to Israel too. So getting to Israel, I was being called upon to explain how it really happened and I did and the doctor said, okay, they will try their best, but they are not giving me the assurance if it's going to be good or bad. Like all they want to do is just to try their best. So I told them, I said, well, you just take your time and do whatever you want to do. That I know I'll be on my feet back. So after six hours of operation, anyway, as I was oh. six hours, I woke up from the bed. And what I asked for was some water, please. And they said, they gave me a spoon of water. And I said, please, I need more. But after the operation, the following day, I was left alone for one week when they were, when they were attending to me. And after then, it was hell. Uh, just like a newborn baby trying to walk again. It was um, it was tears in the morning, every day it was tears. But I said to myself, I need to go back to my feet, which is important for me. 
and it, so it wasn't me only, but then God was there by my side. God gave me the strength, the determination to skate through and everything. And I thank God today that I'm on my feet, which is very, very important. I'm into football and management. And an agent trying to start the young players to you. But what people have done to me too, because I was nobody. I was being looked up to when I was playing with the Nigerian League. And somebody saw me. Going through predicament is not an easy task. First of all, you need God in your life. And you have to be prayerful too. A lot of people pass through predicament and they give up easily. But in times of determination, dedication, and discipline, prayerful, no matter what you're going through, you should not skip through. Yeah, in all profession, I think we have um, ups and downs. But it comes in football or in sports, as in terms of injury and so on. Injury has um, shortcut a lot of players' career and makes them not to play football anymore, and they are into another penalty. But I tell you, if you find yourself in that predicament, you don't have to give up. You can play football up to 30 to 35 years, and at the same time, you play no more. But what do you have to do? Another profession, in that in business or whatever. If you are a young player and you got injury at the tender age, you don't have to give up. That is the end of an era. There is still a future for you to do. It's either you dust your certificate and go back to school or you go into business. It, what really happens to me is something that I should have just sit back and start doing whatever I want. But I believe I was not brought up or born that way. I need to feed a lot of people. And I have to try and do my best and make sure my best is being appreciated back. I think our uh, upcoming goalkeepers or whoever that is trying to become a goalkeeper should first of all believe in himself. And you should be prayerful to it because with this, if you don't have it, you can't go anywhere. Oh, it's been nice having you. Thank you so much. I just hope some other time.